Hello everybody and welcome to Paracrew. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Basin B-Singer Plus Pro in-ear monitors that sport dual dynamic drivers, come with a rich set of accessories and retail for about 45 US dollars, making them sound like a pretty good deal. Are they worth your hard-earned cash? Let's find out. Before we begin with the review, I want to take a moment and thank Basin for sending me this review unit to test and give my honest opinion. If at the end of the review you're interested in purchasing your own pair, consider using the links in the description, which also give the channel a small kickback. Without further ado, let us begin. The B-Singer Plus Pros are packed in this nice looking quality made box. The IEMs themselves come tucked in this Basin branded foam. Underneath we find a couple of white boxes, one of which contains this cool suitcase style carrying case. Inside it we find a cleaning tool, a couple of paper wipes and an airplane adapter. Inside the other box we find a manual, a member registration card, a warranty card and a product catalog. We also find a plastic bag with a shirt clip and a set of extra silicon tips in various sizes, including a couple of double flanked ones. Finally we get a couple of quality made anti-tangle MMCX cables a hand-woven one with a fastener and another with an inline microphone and playback control. Both include stress relievers, gold-plated 3.5mm audio jacks and strong memory hooks on the edges so you can adjust the fitting to your ear. The earphones themselves are lightweight and feel well made. They sport a stylish hard plastic shell with the Basin logo on them and fit comfortably into my ears forming a tight seal. This helps drown out a decent amount of noise from your surroundings, thus providing good passive noise isolation. Now we come to the tricky part of this review, the sound quality. While the Basin B-Singer Plus Pros have satisfied me at everything we've covered so far, audio quality is a bit of a mixed bag. To begin with, the B-Singers produce lush and full-feeling audio and have a decently wide soundstage. Not as wide as the KZZS6s, but you can still catch some really small details to your audio. Also, probably due to their tight seal, the B-Singer's bass feels full, and while it is not extremely accurate, it is well balanced, making it a welcome presence in many EDM and hip-hop tracks. Now while the B-Singer's bring forward a full, bright and bassy audio experience, which I really appreciate, there are certain cons to them. To begin with, every song that I listened to over the past few months in which I've been using the B-Singer's fell into one of these three categories. A. It sounded simply amazing. B. Everything but the vocals sounded slightly muffled and C. Audio fidelity was noticeably off, meaning that they didn't reproduce sound accurately. Luckily, category C wasn't a regular occurrence and required me to have the volume at a higher level to distinguish it with absolute certainty. At this point, I should also note that while using the B-Singers, I had to kick up my volume slider by a level or two to match the output volume of my other IEMs. These couple of details got me searching online for an explanation, and I came across Nathan the Music Vlogger's video, in which he tests the same pair of earphones and speculate that these things happen due to inadequate ventilation of the IEMs, which to my ears sounds like a plausible explanation. He then even goes a step further by cutting a vent in the back of his big singers and claims that this greatly improved the audio quality. Which brings us to the question, who are these for? The B-Singer Plus Pros are marketed mainly to live performing musicians, and I can see how their strengths can really shine in this situation. To make this review as accurate as possible, I decided to contact a friend, who is a musician, and have him test them himself. When he first picked them up, he said that they looked and felt to be of really good build quality. For him, it was the first time using IEMs with memory hooks, and putting the B-Singers on was something that he would have to get used to. While placing them in his ears, he also noted that their size seemed to be a bit big for his ears. For testing, I handed him over the cable with the playback controls, on which he appreciated the fact that the cable was detachable and that it untangled easily. After testing them for a while, he commented on their audio quality, saying that while he did notice a slight muffling effect, he didn't really mind it, and bottom line, he felt like the B-Singer Plus Pros left him really satisfied with their audio performance. So let's sum everything up. The Basin B-Singer Plus Pros have a lot going for them, namely the price they put on a dual driver pair of IEMs, the range of accessories that come included, the comfortable shape, their tight seal, and their practical design. Basin have made a series of really good design decisions while building the B-Singers, such as including a pair of tangle-free cables, using the MMCX connector, the light shell material, the stress relievers, and the swiveling memory ear hooks. When it comes down to audio experience, based on my own impressions and the ones of my musician friend, I can say that the B-Singer Plus Pros will suit the everyday casual user and their targeted audience of performing musicians. 
Just keep in mind both pros and cons that I mentioned earlier while considering buying them. Where I wouldn't recommend them is for people who are going to use them in a professional environment for things like audio editing, as their cons could be a deal breaker in these situations. Personally, what I'd like to see is for Basin to evaluate all the feedback they've received, maybe experiment with ventilation and come up with a refreshed B-Singer lineup and see how that further improves audio quality, since the B-Singer Plus Pros have got pretty much every other box ticked for me. Once again, thank you to Basin for sending over this review unit, it's been a lot of fun testing and experimenting with the B-Singers, and as Nathan said in his own video, it is refreshing to see a company that is open to sending what it makes out to be tested and given feedback. So, what do you guys think of the Basin B-Singer Plus Pros? Tell us in the comments section below. That was it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, give it a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more awesome content. I will see you in the next video.